Here is an example of open loop uh, tuning um, uh, in order to find the uh, three parameters, the process um, gain, the time, and the time constant. So we have the uh, 4.5 here, uh, example, calculate uh, gain Kc, which is the control gain, integral time Ti for the um, uh, process reaction uh, curve here. So as you can um, see here, this is the input which is a step input as you can see and here is the output so this kind of um, the process uh, process reaction uh, curve uh, and first of all you have to uh, draw uh, a straight tangent line as you can see here so we have here the tangent line so this is the steepest line that you can draw. Uh, so what we have uh, required to find is the first is the process dead time. So this is the input. So the input is starting at um, t equals to 5. So 5, um, either minutes or seconds, I think it's minutes, uh, the input start to change. So you draw a line and you know you take that line down there here so this is you draw this line the orange one until you reach the time axis uh, which is x, x axis here and then the uh, the time between the tangent line and the starting of the input this is what we call it uh, dead, dead time or TD okay so this is the TD so 10 minus 5 is equals to 5 which is 5 minutes so here this one we can get it from the graph so it's again it's very important so you draw a line straight line down down to the time axis so here's the time axis and you take also a time or a line to the time axis from the tangent line of the process reaction curve. So the duration or the time between or the difference between these two lines uh, equals to the dead time. So the dead time, it uh, measure um, how much the delay between the starting of the changing of the input and the change of the output. Number two, we have to calculate the process time constant. This is very important. This is a tricky a little bit. So you have to pay attention to, to this step. So first we have to calculate the total change. So the total change is here for the output. So the change starts from 40 and ends at let's say 47. So this is the, the change on in the uh, output. So 47 minus 40 equals to 7. So this is the total change. So this is the total uh, change. This is very important. So now the, the process time constant equals to this one, uh, the time where uh, it reach, the output reach 63.2% of the total change value minus the T starting. So again, this one you have to understand it. The T uh, or the time where the output reach 63.2 of the total change minus the starting time. So first of all, you have to find the 63.2% of the total change. Do you know the total change? You have to go to the graph of the output. The total change here is the, you know, the time where the output started to change until it reached the maximum. So the, uh, the output uh, start at 40 and ends at you know 47 so the you know the total change is uh, 7 47 minus 40 so now you have to take the 63.2% of 7 so how much the 
63.2% of 7, so 63.2 divided by 100 multiply 7 equals to 4.242. Now, what you'll do with this number, you will add it to the starting point of the output. The starting point of the output, uh, the start is at 40, so you know the process time constant equals to the time to be 63.2 uh, of the full chain minus the time start to chain. So um, again, the, 60, the starting value equals to 63.2 uh, percent of 7, which is you know 44.242 percent. So uh, in order to find the time to be at 63.2, you have to add the 63.2% of 7 to the starting value. So the total or the final value will be uh, the total here of this part will be 44.242%. Uh, so here in this graph, the output is uh, we can say that the 63.2 percent it's almost here 44.24 uh, percent um, so 44.24 percent so this is the 63.2 percent of the uh, you know the uh, total change so now the time constant equals to the time to be at 63.2% of the full change minus time start. So, the we have to take a line from here in order to find the time to be at 63.2. So, this is the, you know, 63.2, you have to take a, a straight line to the, uh, the uh, tangent line. So sorry, you have to take a line from the 63.2 until you reach the curve, and then you take you take it down here. So almost you can say it's 15 minutes here. So here the 60 where the output reach 63.2 percent of full uh, change minus the time to start. Where is the time to start? It's here. You see. It start at 10 minutes, where's the where it uh, t equals to 10 minutes. So this is um, where the tangent line start. So this is very important. So the difference between the these two intervals is equals to the time constant. It's um, uh, you know it's a little bit uh, challenging, but you can do so. Um, uh, you can do some practices and um, you know uh, try it by yourself and then inshallah you'll, you will get it right the third parameter the third parameter as you can see first we have uh, found the process date time second the time constant and the third we have found we have to find the uh, uh, process gain the process gain is a straightforward KP equals to the change in the output over the change in the input. So the change in the output, you can see the maximum is 47. So this is the maximum minus the minimum, which is 40, divided by 40, um, the change in the input. So the input, we can say 40. Uh, or so, so uh, sorry, 46 minus 40. So uh, the gain will be 1.67. So you have the process gain, you have the date time, you have the time constant. Then you can apply the uh, table from the open loop tuning. So this is straightforward. So we have. Uh, the time constant so if you are if you'd like to apply a proportional only so you use this uh, you know cells if you would like to apply a pi then you have to consider these equations down here if you would like to apply pid 
then you have to consider these equations. So, for example, I would like, please find, or sometimes I ask you for all parameters, for all, um, you know, um, the table as a, you know, a whole um, complete one. But sometimes I specify, please, uh, you know, what the, what are the KC and TI for, uh, uh, for PI control. So you consider this one, you have the time constant, you have the uh, process gain, you have the date time, so straightforward, you get it, 0 0.77 uh, gain. This is the gain. For the TD, the time, which is minutes per uh, repeat for the integral time. So TI, in this, in this case, 3.33 multiply TD. And the TD is here, 5. So 3.33 multiply 5, it's going to be equal to 60.65 minutes per repeat. So this is the case. I hope you you are now um, you understand the uh, configuration and the parameters and how to calculate from the process reaction curve. This is very essential and important, uh, especially when you are going to industries and trying to do some tuning for uh, BID control loops. Here is uh, another example, 4.6, a controller is working as a PI, proportional integral controller, with a gain of 2 and ta uh, time 5 repeats per uh, minute. It's needed to convert it to, into PID controller. Calculate the parameters for PID controller. So in this case, uh, the controller which we have is what? PI controller. We would like to convert it to PID controller. So we have to find the gain, TI, integral time, and derivative time. So these three values should be, you know, um, figured out. So in this case, make sure that you have to do it for here for open loop. You know, there's a big difference between the open loop tuning and closed loop tuning. So this table is for open loop tuning and in the questions I'm gonna ask you and specify is this loop uh, or these parameters or configuration which is given in the question is it related to the open loop tuning or closed loop tuning so you will you know you can uh, you know uh, figure out uh, which table you should use so in this case please make sure that you have the you know you can distinguish and differentiate between the controller gain and the process gain. KC is the controller gain. KP is the process gain. So in this case, we have the controller PI controller with gain of 2. So this one is, uh, we consider it 5 minutes per repeat, okay? So here we have uh, 5 minutes per repeat. Okay. Or if it's repeat per minute, then one over five. So this is you should distinguish also. So here we assume that's five minutes per repeat. So this is um, the gain kc equal 0.9 tau uh, over kptd equals to two because two is given. So from this equation we have also uh, to find the KC for the um, PID and then from the uh, TD here or the TI we can figure out the TD so we'll see here in this slide next slide so we have the KC 0.9 over uh, 0.9 tau over KBTD equals to 2 so tau over KBTD equals to 2.22. Why? Because 0.9 over 2, it's going to be 2.22, and we have tau of over KBTD. Because we don't know the value of tau or KP, so we'd like to use this way in order to find KC. So the KC now is um, you know, uh, equals to uh, two from from the from the uh, question itself. But the the important or the one 
or the value that we are looking for is tau over kb tdy because in the example or in the PID controller we are applying also almost the same equation with different uh, gain here so 1.1 tau over kbtd equals to kc we have the value over tau over kbtd uh, which is 2.2 here so 1.1 multiplied by 2.22 equals 2.44 so this is what the um, the controller gain for PID controller for the uh, TI minutes per repeat. So the 3.33 multiply TD uh, equals to five. So we'd like to find the TD. It's going to be five over 3.33, which is equals to um, 1.5. So it's clear here that TD is 1.5. So if we are going to apply or find the TI TI for PID controller, then we multiply by 2, simple. 2 multiply by 1.5 equals to 3 minutes per repeat. For the TD, it's 0.5 multiply TD. TD is given or we have found it here. So 0.5 multiplied by 1.5. Five, which is equals to 0.75 minutes. So in this case, the uh, final configuration we have KC 2.44, uh, TI integral time equals to three minutes per repeat and derivative time equals to 0.75 uh, minutes. In case of we are considering the closed loop tuning, we have the B PI so 0.45 multiply the ultimate gain kcu equals to 2 because it's given in the question the control gain is 2 uh, this is the ultimate uh, gain so we can find the ultimate gain which is 2 over 0.45 um, uh, uh, for the um, ultimate period from the integral time we have ultimate period ultimate period divided by 1.2 equals to the ti which is 5 so we can find the pu which is the ultimate uh, period here which is equal to uh, what's going to be equals uh, to uh, 6 so we have pu and uh, kcu we can find all the others so here it's clearly here uh, kcu equal to 4.44 so here you can find easily uh, the kc which you multiply by 0.6 for pu is 6 so here we have uh, pu over 2 equals uh, 6 divided by 2 equals to 3 minutes per repeat and here we have the pu which is uh, divided by in order to find the td pu divided by 8 which is equal to 0.75 so these are the parameters for PID controller in case we are doing what closed loop tuning here is um, the last example which is uh, 4.7 a PI controller uh, with process gain equals to 4 so K P equal to 4 okay not KC and integral time TI equals to 5 minutes per repeat so it's not five repeat per, per uh, minute so this is very important to recognize needs to get converted into PID calculate new values for the um, gain uh, the controller gain TI and TD uh, the, uh, the integral time and derivative time so we have here the uh, process gain which is equals uh, to uh, 4 and integral time is 5 minutes per repeat so first we are doing for the oval loop tuning so for the oval loop uh, tuning for PI so we have the BI PI uh, controller so this is the equation that we are applying so KC or the controller output equals 2.9 tau over KPTD so we have uh, KP and and TD okay 
so uh, we don't have the value of kc we don't have the value of tau the time constant uh, uh, the time constant and the um, controller gate uh, for the td it's obvious that we are having so ti equals to 3.33 td okay uh, so ti equals to 5 from the equation so we can find the td from this equation which is equals to 5 over uh, 3.33 uh, which is equal to 1.5 minutes minutes per repeat so we will come back to how to find the uh, kc or how to uh, convert from PI to PID controller so uh, for the TI we don't have problems so the TD here we have 2 multiply by 1.5 equals to 3 so TI in PI controller we have found uh, it's given and we can find the TI in the PID controller and also the TD which is 0.5 multiplied by TD which is 1.5 uh, uh, so we have uh, which is equals to 0.75 uh, uh, minutes so now we have the TI and the TD so we left with KC so now we will so as discussed we have uh, found and calculate TI TD and now we're gonna calculate uh, KC KC is uh, uh, in order to calculate it it's a little bit tricky so you have to pay uh, attention in uh, next a uh, few so from the PID table we can see that uh, KC equals to 1.1 tau over KPTD so we have um, known we have know the KP and TD the process gain and TD KB equals to um, uh, 4 and TD is equals to 1.5 minutes per repeat so we can have uh, 0 0.183 multiply tau equals to KC uh, we can recall that you know the controllability controllability range is uh, the normal range or the most commonly uh, used uh, is when uh, td over tau greater than or equal to 0 0.1 and less than or equal to 0 0.3 so td here is equals to um, 1.5 uh, over uh, and over tau so we can find the range of the time constant and if we have we can find uh, the, the range of the time constant then we can apply uh, for each uh, KC so KC for example KC 1 equals 0 0.183 you know tau for the 5 and KC2 equals 0, uh, 0.183 multiplied by uh, 15. So here equals to 5 uh, minutes. This is not minutes, sorry. It's again. So equals to 15. So from 5 to 15, the KC. So, um, uh, yeah. So it's sorry, it's uh, 0 0.183. Equ multiply by 5 is equals to 0 0.915 and here 0 0.183 multiplied by 15 equals to uh, equal equals to uh, 2.745 so here we are talking here about uh, the tau range of tau uh, finally, we can get the KC range from uh, 0 0.915 to 2.745. The TI is 3 minutes per repeat. TD is 0 0.75 minutes. So the tricky point here is how to find 
the range of the KC and this is you have to uh, check it on the page number 10 of this uh, chapter so this range is the most commonly range for the controllability parameter 